this tutorial, we want to speak about one of the specific, very unique feature of any Night Force that you want to buy. It's called their zero stop option. Now, a zero stop is essentially just a clutch system within this top turret. Now, you cannot get a zero stop on the windage because you need to be able to turn it right and left. But what a zero stop was designed for is to work on the elevation. And the purpose of it was once your rifle was zeroed, had you ever dialed for an extended long range shot or a shot that required you to turn uh, the minute of angle turret in the heat of the moment or whatever the, may, the reason may be, it is designed so that you cannot go sub zero. When you receive a night force out of the box, it will have tons of play, both up and down. This is so that you can properly sight in the rifle. But once the rifle is sighted in, there's a zero stop that I'm gonna show you here in a second that will create a stop that you're gonna set at dead zero. So then you'll only ever be able to turn the turret up. We're gonna go ahead and pull the cover off of this scope and I'm gonna show you how the clutch assembly works and I'm gonna show you how to use it. It's very simple. So let me take a minute and show you. You just simply take the provided wrench. You've got one screw on zero and one on the opposite side. You just loosen these up, slide the dust cover off. Now what we're looking at is like I said, a clutch here. So this clutch is equipped with four set screws in the top and then on the bottom of the upper clutch assembly has a stop. And then at the base of cl the clutch assembly, it has a stop. So what we're gonna do is assume that we were on zero. So you can turn this however you want, but let's assume that we were on zero. Just simply take this little guy and loosen up these four set screws, one and a half to two turns, but do not remove them from the clutch assembly. All the while, the scope remaining is zero. You can just take this clutch assembly and it will just free spin down to where the upper and lower clutch faces make contact. Okay, it, see it came to a stop. I can no longer turn it. Once I've got the clutches connected, we're gonna go ahead and take the wrench and we're just gonna tighten them back down. We're just gonna make sure all of them are right at the snug point. Now these screws are little and they do not require a bunch of tension, four inch pounds. So we're gonna go ahead and use a little end of the wrench. Now that we've got them all snug and we're just gonna give each one of them a little turn. Okay, it's now tight. I'm gonna show you before I put the dust cap on so you can see a before and after. If I'm to grab this assembly, I can make the whole pivotal move. It'll click, 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 okay? And I can bring it back down and it's gonna stop right on zero. See, I cannot turn it now. Then, the important part is to take the dust cap, which has the zero. The scope body is equipped with a hash mark that indicates a dead true zero. Let's go ahead and match these two up. Once I've got them matched up, let's just tighten the dust cap screws right back down. With those tight, I'll show you how we can only go up and we cannot go sub-zero. We can go up, we can go up as far as we wanna go. But when we come down, it will stop. And it's set at a true dead zero on this side. This is the reason and the sole purpose of a zero stop. It was a great innovation by Night Force. I've been a dialer shooter for a long time and you get in the heat of the moment on a hunt and always wonder, well, I'm on zero, but did I happen to go X number of minutes below zero or am I on a true zero? This simply solved the entire equation. Now with the dust cap set, we're ready to go on our next hunt. So. As always, if you have any further questions, feel free to call a tech rep at Night Force or go to nightforceoptics.com.